Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Cities Skylines with your Mayor Kuros Paladin. Thank you for joining us in a rainy night in Knight's Helm. It's been raining for a while, and well, hopefully, it'll eventually stop. But enough of that. Um, we are. Uh, in our last episode, I should say, we had just built, you can see it over here, our exchange station. I have no idea how well this will work out, if it's going to help or not, but there are a lot of passengers that are using it, which is a good thing to see. Um, if I, there we go. So, um, we have a lot of passengers that, yep, are lined up over here. So, that works out. And I'm hoping it will reduce the rail traffic in the city. There's one last location where I've got freight and passenger coming in on their own from the outside world that I should uh, address. But uh, I don't think that's what the problem, unfortunately, is in the city. Um, with the trains, the freight building up, it's just... It's just freight in general, um, because if I zoom out here, I was kind of hoping that it was the freight coming in from here that was causing the problem, um, because the biggest issue has been over this way, near, yep, right here in this double-decker area, getting into... Um, oh, sorry about that. I had the microphone knocked off by a cat. I really need to just lock them away when I do this. Seems like every episode they're causing me more problems, but alas. Okay. Um, let me get myself situated again. I apologize. Okay. Uh, freight trains just are an issue over here. Uh,. And 47%, it's even both directions now, so 7%, 13%, what the heck is going on? I still need to find a mod that will take care of that. I really do, just a mod that will take care of these trains that are less than 20%. Come on, let's at least get trains with a little bit more going on. What I might end up doing is removing one of these train stations. Um, possibly this one. What it probably could also be is, I've just got too many trains coming in. You know, a train station here and a train station here, a freight station in both of these. I might just end up removing this one here. I don't know if that'll take care of the problem or not. Um, you know what? I'm almost under the... Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Um, I'm just going to delete that. And therefore, that will cut off that train station. And then we'll see what happens to the rest of the trains on that track. Now, a lot of them may just disappear. I don't know for certain. Uh, what train station was or is that? That is Louis Forest or Lewis Forest. So, you know, the trains that are trying to go there, like that one, um, will eventually figure out that they can't get there. Right? Because it doesn't go through. Nope, it doesn't go through. So, we'll see what happens. And if that cleans things up, great. That was what the problem... That was part of the problem. And I just have to address the fact that there's a lot of freight that wants to get out there. And I have to get it out there a different way. So, uh, we'll let that clear itself up over time. Started the episode with 287,461. So we've already gone up 1,400 uh, in population in just the uh, four minutes or so. Our population is growing. Our unemployment rate is coming up. The adults um, will eventually become seniors. That workforce may become an issue in the future. Just have to keep an eye on that. But we don't have labor shortages at the time. And we have some uh, residential demand. 
and it is bouncing up and down as you can see it'll be a lot of demand then no demand then a lot of demand then no demand and I am having distribution problems with goods um, I don't know if it's because of the freight trains causing issues or what it is um, I know I just got rid of a freight station but I am thinking maybe a freight station in this area. And I do have track right here. Um so I'm going to I am I'm going to do it. Now the reason that I want to do it is I'm hoping it distributes, you know, it it gets goods to the commercial area over here in Erie Plaza or Erie Plaza, however that's pronounced. I'm not going to put any... Well, I might put a little bit of industrial here, just a little bit. So I am going to put a freight station here, but it is going to be kind of a bypass station. So let's go ahead, pick up our double track, and we're going to put it in right here. Oh. Actually, let go back. Okay. We need a one-way road, but because it is a freight, we don't really care how much, how good it is. So one, two, three, four, five, six. You know, at this point, I keep saying I should know what it is, and I keep forgetting how far away it is. And yeah, it is six. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's plunk this down. Uh, let's go ahead we'll finish out so we got to reverse this there we go and then I'm just gonna have it come in from okay get rid of the guidelines when you don't need them they're in the way and then when you do need them you can't get them there Alright, let's just do this. I want to go to there. There, and I messed up. There we go. Okay, over to here, and then down. Okay. Road guidelines. Turn them back on. Okay. So we've got a roundabout. Um, we are going to need to get power out here. There we go. Okay. And they're probably going to want water. They got water and some heat. Okay. So they have the roundabout road. But the more I think about it, they don't need a roundabout road. They just need the one way coming in and then getting out of there. There we go. Okay. Evergreen Boulevard. So this is going to be the not as nice area, right? There we go. Okay. And then do I still have... Okay, good. Alright, so they're going to be able to come in and then ro go back. But this road will eventually go somewhere. And then I might have a little bit of smattering of industrial over here. Now this is probably a, you know, a terrible idea. New and move at 280. Slope align now automatically uses the two furthest apart selection objects to manually select the two points. That might be helpful. Menu redesign and some icons changed. Evenly space out objects in straight line. Straight line. Change the selections coordinates, move and delete paths for ship aircraft ferries. Oh, that's good. See, you can move the paths. Options page redesign. Many other tweaks. Read the workshop, move it guide for more information. Okay. And then in Knight's Gauntlet, I kept, I didn't realize something else, uh, another city, that Clay Commons, I forgot that it's this little thing over here. Um, that they, he just redesigned it and put it up there. It used to be a little thing down here. Now it's up here, and it does this. So anyhow, I just now I know where to look for it. So 
All right, back to what I was doing. So what the reason I went into, okay, click anywhere in this box to close it. Thank you. Um, and then bring this up just a little bit. That'll work, okay. Let's force that to be ground. There we go. Let's see what happens if I try to do something so incredibly weird. Okay, yeah, that kind of works. Um, I thought I had that selected. Alright, well, obviously this isn't going to work out like I wanted it to. There we go, okay. I spend way too much time doing stuff like that, okay. Alright, and then I need to rejoin over here. And I actually do have enough space out if I do want to continue that. So I did think ahead, although I will have to bulldoze all this, unfortunately. Alright, so let's make it so that the trains can get back onto the track. Back on track. Boom. Okay. And then... Okay, how did... is it shift? It's shift. Oh, okay. a little bit too much tweaking here. Sorry, I'm quiet. Okay. Uh, and then just to be certain... So that no passenger trains get in the way there. There we go. Okay. Excellent. Alright. I don't know if this will do much, what good this will do, but we'll see if it brings... Uh oh, oh autosave. Please don't crash. Thank you. Okay, autosave did that. All right, uh, we'll see if that helps with uh, bringing goods to the Airy Plaza area because I'm looking. There really isn't any freight in the area, uh, freight delivery aside from road, so that might help. And then because there's a freight terminal here, I would like to just put a little bit of industry over here. So. Um, where is it? There it is, the industrial road. Even though I have very little demand for industry. And very little demand for commercial. But I'm going to put just a little bit of commercial here too. Okay. And because we don't want things to burn down. Give him a fire station. There we go. Okay. All right. Anyhow, so we'll just see how that works itself out over time. Um, and then 
I did see I've got a stub of a freeway over here. I could actually bring that over up to here and have it kind of end, you know, have this turn into a freeway, go over the wa the river, wa <laughs> go over the river and then kind of just connect up to this to allow uh, some surface uh, freight to get there, as well as also uh, allow traffic to get into Helen Point. So let's go ahead and do that. So even though I already did this, let's upgrade that to the... Actually, you know what I am going to do? I'm going to upgrade it to just a six-lane road now. Because it will end up being a through road. Okay. So we'll come out straight. Actually, what I should probably do is build this first. So I've got three and three. I can probably keep doing that. So, uh, what I found helps. Let's see if this works. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay. So I want three lane, one way. And no, that didn't really work, did it? doesn't look quite right. There we go. Okay. Of course, I lost the centering that I was going for, but oh well. Alright. And then I do have to do the lane arrows just to keep people from doing U-turns. There we go. Okay. Alright, so we've got that coming out this way. And I did not want that to be a bridge. So let's force it to be ground for the time being. Okay. We're going to have to curve away from the water a little bit. Just the bridge has a chance to go up. And look at that, there's somebody already trying to use this bit of road. Let's see, we'll go kind of like right here. And then do not force it to be ground. And then I shouldn't have to worry about ships because, oops. Uh, nothing should be going through here. And yeah, that looks a little bumpy. We'll take care of that. Okay, over the river. Big time.
there. Okay. That took a lot longer than it should have. It looks a little wonky. That does look a little wonky, but once I get stuff in there, I think it'll make more sense of why it looks that way. Right now it looks wonky just because, well, why did it do that? But if I start putting things in here to give it a reason to look like that. Okay. Anyhow, it looks like I already have freight coming in here. So that's a good thing to see. Um, got people wandering around in the uh, no man's land over here for whatever reason. But anyhow. Okay, slowly maybe they'll get some goods over to these businesses. Alright, let's take a look. Uh, uh, population wise, well we've gone up about 4300. Not bad. Might hit that 300,000 mark. Have I actually hit the 300,000 mark in the past? Nope. I was very close to it. In fact, I'm very close to my all-time high right now. Okay. Maybe get to it? We'll see. Okay. Um, so, I've done that. So, the last thing would be... Uh, since some time has passed, let's take a look over here. Look at this! So it really was, this freight terminal was really causing the problem. Look at that. Nobody wants to go to that other freight terminal, apparently. Here, this one train wants to go over there. So now, did all that traffic that was going to that freight terminal... Yeah, it's now clogging up the road. It's unfortunate. It is unfortunate that that freight terminal was that popular. I guess what I could do is I could kill this freight terminal, put that one back, but then they're all going to end up trying to go here again. It's just kind of unfortunate. It really is. Um, oh well. Maybe one day we'll, we'll uh, put it back. So just occurred to me I could have just turned this off too as opposed to deleting the section of track but oh well <laughs> excuse me okay curious how our park is looking since I'm over here uh, park area info uh, 89 visitors in Gath Paladin National Park last week I'm curious how many people are making the trek up the mountain, or up the... All the way up here. Let's see. Nobody. Uh, nobody. You know, six people. I can't blame them for not going all the way over there. That's a long trek to get all the way up there. But look at the view! Just look at that view! Yeah. Okay. Check out our airports. So. A lot of people going there, probably coming in from here. And then our other international airport, where are you? Over here. So this is Kuros Paladin International, right? Yep. And it's more popular. Well, we are Because it has the better entrance. It's got the little jacaranda trees and the flower beds. Okay. Anyhow, uh, 292, we're getting there. Um,. Our po it was like 21, now it's up to 31. So yeah, our housing demand is going up. So, um, let's see if I can get some new housing in. Where would I like to put more housing in? Let's build out towards the airport just a little bit. So right here, uh, do Thebes. New Sparta, out towards the airport a little bit. So, 
too bad I can't, it's it's so difficult to get kind of a slums in this game. But oh well. All right, so that is a five lane road. What is it complaining about? Space already occupied. Oh, there's a subway station there. Ugh. Well, that was a mistake on my part. Um, darn. What happens if... If I just move it a little bit? Does that actually, uh keep the subway line attached to it? Kind of? I mean, the passengers scooted. Ooh, what's this telling me now? Oh, okay. That's just... <laughs> I thought that was the station. Alright, so... Just connect up over here. Boom. And then I'll just delete this. Okay. Alright. Uh, so anyhow, let's go back here. So... Good. Now I can do this. We don't want to get too close to the airport. I mean, let's be honest, it would be kind of silly to live, you know, <laughs> right next to it. But how far away is far enough? In this game, the scale... I think that would be good enough. And then this is not going to be nice housing and such, so... This would be really kind of a little bit cramped. That one I will actually connect. Come on. Okay. Five lane to right there, okay. And then from here... Wow, that was, like, almost perfect. Oh, and I did that all... Okay, I don't want it to be that nasty. They're not supposed to be all industrial road. Hang on. There we go, okay. Delete the end of there, because what I want to do is come to right there, come back over here, and connect that, okay. Oops, I thought I was on that road. There we go, connect that, boom. And then just go up to... There, okay. There's a sort of method to my madness with this. There we go, okay. So let's go ahead. This is going to be, you know, the not so nice area, but we will still give them a school. It will be away from the airport. Even though we have the Hadron Collider, we will still give them schools. Police, sure, they are, you know. They are most certainly going to need that fire. I would never really want them to have their houses burned down. 
medical. Right there. Okay. And then we'll give them a park or two over here. Actually, we'll put... This is very, uh, very kind of accurate to where I live. Um, I live near a municipal international airport. And of course, there's uh, parks on the approach on both sides. So, okay. So just having a little bit of a, a park. in some residential and then a couple of uh, just a smattering of commercial oh that's even more than I wanted there we go either side of the fire station there we go okay well just the one side okay so yeah we got people moving in excellent 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 uh, you know because everybody wants to live right next to the airport of course all right so the not so nice area and then we can kind of get a little bit nicer as we go this way in fact uh, these rocks almost make me want to leave them and make it a uh, kind of a kind of like a nice little uh, nature preserve type thing and then since there's no off building there let's go ahead and just blow through that um, if I were to come over here And of course, the power lines that I just put down are already out of whack. And that would be a really bad idea to put them in the flight path, or in the... You know, right there. So, okay, there we go. How are we doing with water steam? Pretty good, okay. So we got a road over here, so we'll put in here. Some nice tree lined roads. So I'll go along the rocks, maybe. No reason we can't connect there. I just hope traffic doesn't try to go through here um, to cut that corner. So yeah, these are going to be high-end estates. How can the school not... Whatever. I don't need schools. <laughs> I know that sounds stupid, but... we, we Our schools are taken care of. So, all right, 
I am going to give them police. Come on. There we go. Fire. And medical. Alright, the medical will go along the rock side. There we go. I should have used the, uh, whatever that marquee tool is, this one. Yeah, marquee. Okay. I think that will be enough for right now, because I've already, as you can see, taken care of quite a bit of the demand for residential. And then we need to get some power out here. So power to the people, come on. Eventually somebody will build out, right? I probably should give them a nice park. So how about... Actually, no, we'll put the nice big one right here. There we go. They still need, like, a golf course in this game. Sorry, I'm not very talkative. I uh, just got very quiet because eh, I'm fighting a slight headache at the moment, so just not in a talkative mood. Okay. Boom. All right, there we go. That takes care of that. They still haven't built out their... I don't want to run power lines if I don't have to. remember to delete or bulldoze those later okay all right well you know what we're 295 429 just 4504 people away from the 300,000 mark in fact this may be our all-time high population at this point um 283 looks like our all-time nope 290 592 so yep we are at an all-time high uh i don't think we're gonna hit the 300 this episode though so because we've been going 40 minutes it is probably time to just say it is a good point to just uh end and come back to another episode so everybody I hope you're enjoying the series, and I hope you come back to see a continuation of the city of Knight's Helm in Cities Skylines with your Mayor Kuros Paladin. Everybody, I will see all of you in the next episode as well. So take care, and uh, be safe out there, as everybody likes to say, and I will see all of you in the next episode. Bye.